So what are Lottie and JSON files anyway? Lottie and JSON are lightweight animations that can be used on websites, mobile apps, and other digital platforms. Knowing how to create and render animations in Lottie and JSON files can help designers and developers create high-quality, engaging animations that improve their platform's user experience and performance. All right, enough with the talking. Let's begin. As a professional motion designer, I can tell you that working with organized folders is very important. When you're working on a motion graphics project, there are many different assets that you need to keep track of, such as images, video footage, audio files, and so on. Organizing these files into folders lets you quickly find what you're looking for and keeps your project super efficient. In addition, an organized file structure becomes even more important if you're working with a team. Everyone on the team needs to be able to find the assets they need quickly, and having an organized project can help ensure that everyone is on the same page. So let's see what folders we need to create. But before that, remember to download the folder for this lesson. And for those who still need to install the After Effects software, you can see how to do it in the free course I mentioned earlier. You can find the link to the course in the description below or in the PDF file found in the folder you downloaded from me. Okay, and now let's find a folder on the computer where we will create the main folder for the course. Find a folder that suits you. Now let's create the main folder for the course. Let's call it DIM Micro Animation. And now inside this folder, we need to open three more folders. The first is AE. We will save all the After Effects files here. The second is Assets. Here, we will save all the graphic assets used in the project. And the third one is Renders or Samples. In this folder, we will save all the renderings and tests of the project. Now let's open the Assets folder and transfer to this folder the assets that we need for this lesson. So, open the folder you downloaded from me. And copy all the assets to the Assets folder you just created. You can close the folder now if you like. Now let's install the font we will use in this lesson. I will show how to install fonts for Windows and Mac users as well. The name of this font is Montserrat, and we will use it for educational purposes only. Open the folder and enter the folder called Static. For Windows users, select all the files, right-click, and choose Install for all users or Install. I already installed this font, so I will not install it again. Mac users, with Finder selected, click on Go. Now click on Go to Folder and type this line. Then press Enter. This will bring you to the fonts folder installed on your system. Now drag all the fonts from the course folder to the fonts folder, or you can copy the font and paste it there. So after installing the font, we can close the folder. I'll move this folder to the side real quick. And now let's launch After Effects together. We can exit from this window. I will maximize the window, and first, Let's click on default so we all see the same panel arrangement. And now, as with any editing software, we need to open a new file. To do this in After Effects, we must create a first composition. So let's click on New Composition and now define the settings of our first composition. We will call it Animation for Lottie. Here we will set the size of our composition. This time we will work in a square format of 1080 pixels in width and 1080 pixels in height. Here we will choose the number of frames our animation will consist of. We will write down 60, which means to create one second of animation, we will pass 60 frames. Why exactly 60? Because this animation is designed for websites and apps. Those who don't know what frame rate means is welcome to see the free course I mentioned earlier. In this course, I explain in depth about this topic. 
You can find the link to the course in the description of this video or in the PDF file located in the main folder of the course that you downloaded from me. All right, let's move on. Here we will choose the duration of our first composition. 10 seconds is enough for us this time. And finally, let's choose the background color of the composition. It is important to note that we can easily change all these settings at any stage in the animation later on. Now let's click OK. And now, before we continue, I would like to make a few important notes. For those who see the screen in this way, don't worry. You see it that way because your caps lock key is on. Turn off the caps lock key so you can see the screen normally. Now, when we work on a project in After Effects, it is important to change the language on our computer to English. That way, the keyboard shortcuts we will use in the course will work properly. Next, if you see the preview screen differently than I do, you can click here. If you see the numbers here differently than I do, you can hover here with the cursor. Then, hold down the control key and click on the numbers here. And if you see the screen smaller or bigger than mine, just come here and select Fit. And finally, set the preview quality here to full. Okay, so after creating our first composition, the first thing we need to do is to save the project and give it a name. Because currently, as you can see, After Effects file has no name right now. The name we gave was the name of our first composition. The composition we are in now. So let's go to File and click on Save. Now let's find the folder we created for the lesson. We will enter the AE folder and name the After Effects file we are working on. You can call it the same name as our main composition or any other name you like. After that, click on Save, and our project now has a name. After the first saving of the project, besides giving the name to the project, we also activated the autosave function. This is very important to do because now After Effects will automatically save our project every few minutes. And now, let's go to Edit, Preferences, and set the best settings for a better workflow. Mac users, you can go to Preferences this way. So, click on General and now select the settings exactly like I did. You can stop the lesson and continue it once you have selected everything. In the meantime, I will continue to the next column. And here is the auto save. Here we decide how often After Effects will save the project automatically. I chose every five minutes. Finally, Let's get to script and expressions and select everything I selected. And now, we can click OK and start the lesson. Note that you don't need to change these settings every time before starting a new project. OK, so the first thing we will do is import the color palette into the project. To import assets to the project, we will double click on the gray area in the project panel. Now we need to find the folder we created for the lesson and enter the assets folder. Now select the color palette, ensure PNG sequence is not selected, and click import. And now, to see the color palette in our composition, we must drag it to the composition panel located here. To do this, we will drag the palette into the composition like this. And here, we see the palette in the preview screen. We can reduce this layer manually by grabbing the edge from here and holding the shift key to reduce the layer symmetrically. Now release the mouse click and then release the shift key. Also, we can reduce the layer from the composition panel through the layer itself. If we click on the small arrow of the layer, we can see the basic transform properties of the layer. And if we open these properties, we can see the basic parameters for each layer in After Effects. Here we will see the scale parameter. We can change the value of this parameter manually, or we can click on the value and enter a number we want. Write down 30 and click on enter. Let's close the parameters from here. Now we can move this layer over here to the side. And so that it doesn't bother us later, let's lock it from here. And that way we won't be able to touch or move it during work. And now, so that we don't see this layer in the composition panel, we can make it disappear using the shy function found here. Let's click on this icon. For those who do not see the icon, 
You can click here and see the same arrangement of functions as I do. Let's select this layer as an invisible layer, and to perform the function, we will also click on the shy icon here. And now we don't see this layer here, it doesn't bother us, and we can't move it. Okay, so now let's start designing our scene. To do this conveniently, we can open a grid adapted to our composition. Now let's adjust the preview screen to fit the size of our panel. We will go here and select fit. Make sure the quality of your preview is also in full. If you don't see the background color you chose at the beginning, click here to see it. If we want to change this background color, we can do it through the composition settings. To get to the composition settings we are in now, we need to click Ctrl K. I note again that all the shortcuts will work when the keyboard language is set to English. So let's click Ctrl K. Here, we see the composition settings we created earlier. To see the changes we are making, click on Preview. And now, you can change the background color to any other color. Alright, let's click on Cancel and start creating our scene. 